John O'Connell grew up in the tiny fishing village of Union Hall in County Cork, Ireland. After getting his degree, he worked in the UK and Netherlands before his love and affinity for his homeland enticed him back in the early 2000s to build and open an Irish whiskey distillery with two of his childhood friends as partners. It was a bold decision, considering that none of them knew the first thing about producing whiskey. I didn't know, I knew nothing about the industry, but, and I suppose it was maybe, maybe perhaps a moment of madness, but um, one that's worked out quite well. I suppose West Cortisers, we always took a very tempered view on the industry and in that we didn't spend uh, money that we didn't have. We sort of um, took it very handy and um, sort of grew underneath the radar and very organically. West Cork is a very particular place, um, you know, a place of great heritage in terms of food and beverage production. Um, hence it made sense to found the company in West Cork. There's also a great, great feeling of independence here in West Cork and, um, you know, anyone from West Cork always aspires to move back and um, come home and um, sort of develop the community here. Um, here in West Cork, the Sillers, we employ about 150 full-time people. Um, most of which are former fishermen, so it was great to be able to come back and contribute to the local economy and, uh, and local community, you know. The gamble paid off. The Irish whiskey industry had nearly disappeared in the 1950s. In fact, when it opened in 2003, West Cork Distillers was the first new distillery in Ireland since 1987. In 2014, West Cork moved to a new, larger location near the small town of Skibbereen, and today it is the oldest and largest independent distillery in the country. In 2021, O'Connell was introduced to Jeff Hopmeyer, founder of the Brindiamo Group, one of the largest bulk bourbon and whiskey suppliers in the world. Because of our strategic relationship with West Cork, uh, John, the CEO of West Cork and owner, um, we have a great relationship there and utilize him, and, and again, you know, our own Brindiamo's own dedicated warehouse on site is is a big deal. I don't know of others here that are similar to what we what Brindiamo does that have their own dedicated warehouses on site um, that have made that investment uh, for the future. I, I, I don't see it. I don't think it exists. Um, the warehouses, um, we've got a number of warehouses um, scattered across County Cork. Um, the Brindiamo warehouses are located here in Skibbereen. Um, they're about 1,200 square meters in size each, capable of holding about 12,000 first fill bourbon casks. We've been, um, you know, very conscious of the fact that we're, um, we, we have to carry on the tradition and respect the tradition and pass it on to the next generation. You know, you have to be respectful and thoughtful to the, um, the heritage there, but also, you know, continue to innovate and to bring new consumers to the table again. His story of West Cork uh, is really great. They, it's a big fishing community and all his buddies were going out fishing. Just that industry as a whole can sometimes be difficult. And they wanted to do something else for the community and they built the distillery. And so for us, that's a, that's a huge part of the reason we're there, to be able to help the community, to be able to support John and everything that he's doing, and hopefully be a major, you know, major part of his business going forward. Mm -hmm.